uh, hi everyone so here uh, these are the lot of things which we can do with the help of serverless dashboard i am logged into the serverless framework i am just having an account and then we just tried lambda but you can do a lot of things lambda from the command line which we have already seen a lot of things we have done it's just like a simple lambda we have created just a hello world right but you can also uh, do a lot of things on top of that you can create a full stack applications react applications which will be using aws s3 and cloudfront and also enable the domains i mean it's just a way it's just a way to execute things from the console instead of going to the s3 and cloudfront and deploying your web app there right but the most primary and important thing is building the rest apis with either express or python building the lambda either in the node.js or in the python okay now you can use a lot of variations either you can you are using express you are using typescript you are using a simple executing simple lambda or even the graphql right because now in the current world we have a lot of variations of writing the apis you, you might be using graphql you might use, be using rest apis or you just want a static front end website but deploying that is not a primary goal of serverless that's just a web app we are creating okay so here we have a lambda which we have already done so this rest apis we can use like typescript rest apis these sample snippets are already available this you can add uh, existing project graphql also you can do simple rest apis if you just look into this to just set this up you what you need is you just need to have a setup of aws that we will try and doing but before that i want to focus on one particular thing which is the serverless.yml okay so here we have already seen this serverless.yml okay what it was doing is it was helping us to execute this right i might be deploying this using just a serverless uh, package okay sls package so we are actually using this if you see the package.json we are using serverless offline serverless webpack just to bundle everything then if you are writing a typescript then you need to use webpack typescript ts node ts loader and all these things and in the current world we are obviously using typescript to write node.js code either we are writing a lambda in typescript so few things we have you will always use typescript ts node and ts loader and then if you want offline execution of the lambda then you will be using serverless offline okay this is serverless framework and these are just a types type definitions for the typescript xeos because i'm making external call aws sdk if you want to access any external aws service okay so this is a uh, our package.json okay now what we are doing is simple this is a simple lambda okay if we just see this serverless.yml okay it is just writing this simple authorizer handler right if you just go to any sample project of a serverless node.js serverless yml looks same right uh, so here in this package what all we are excluding in the final package we are not we are excluding because what we need is a final bundle package not the source code uh, gate get not all these plugins and all right this is our provider name is aws it can be azure google cloud or this is the runtime engine and this is our handler this is our function and this is the handler and what it is getting configured it is getting configured on the http get handler so this serverless.yml is an important thing for a serverless framework even when we did it from the command line what we did is we are creating a serverless.yml file which has the definition of a a method and the handler and the events which are the http mappings method get and the path right so if we just uh, check the webpack config and all these are just taking the inputs and just creating as the package ts config it is typically any typescript project okay now we will look, go through and look on to this one by one so if i just talk about uh, serverless offline till now whenever i wrote the lambda on the aws console i was testing on the console itself but i'm writing a simple node.js code i should be able to test it locally right so we can use this serverless offline package what it does is you just need to add on this plugin on your serverless.yml and then like this is a simple lambda you have created 
right this is the lambda handler and it is just returning this params right so to execute this on to the local what you can do is you just need to execute few set of commands right first of all this is how your lambda will look like then uh, you can actually use serverless invoke command i will just look for this yeah this one aws lambda invoke this is the command aws you already have and these are the endpoints right the the function name handler okay similarly we will also try to execute our own authorizer lambda okay that is uh, plain and simple a simple node just code we have written okay so for that what we will do is uh, we will just go to just a simple readme file and there we can see the instruction how to just execute this serverless okay we already have this serverless globally installed right so to deploy this serverless lambda what you need to do is serverless invoke local okay this is the command you need to execute and if you see our code what all it contains it has a lot of things and if you do the check the yml file it is pointing to index.handler right so it is talking about this index.handler just comment this out for now we are not doing this allow and deny right so now we are getting everything so let's invoke right so this is the way it will actually create a bundle and finally it will orchestrate the same behavior whatever the the lambda will do once it is deployed okay you are just sending this event object the the authorizer handler you are actually invoking it locally this is your handler name and this is your event payload which is representing event object right it is successfully executing lambda and this is what you got right consider if you are get if you are throwing a particular error right before returning it let's say if i manually throw the error and if i execute this now then it should go into the catch block right so i'm using this serverless offline plugin to just play around with this and this is helping us to execute this so you can see these plugins what all we are using dot env to populate anything from the process env right serverless offline to execute the lambda offline and web package for bundling right now it is going to the catch block and we are getting deny policy so this is about authorizer lambda and everything is all this right serverless yml ts config for typescript webpack config for bundler these are just a sample templates okay serverless provide all these templates for typescript for express application for react graphql and all these things you don't even need to worry about getting this code okay now if we go back to our create react app here also we can see that typescript rest api is right uh, using serverless framework so we will explore more in the next video